Hello, it is Foundation Friday, March 30th, 2018. Steve Cypress here as, oh, I see the moon is out right there over the mountains with another spectacular purple mountain majesty sunset here and another beautiful spring day in Arizona. We're losing the light fairly quickly. I will share the rhino of the day and then today's simple foundation tip to help you build your business and stay on the right track. It's this purple plastic little rhino that's the rhino of the day. Speaking of, hey, it matches the mountains. The purple rhino along with those purple mountain majesties. So no uh, uh, crazy, ugly red Hawaiian shirt today. It is the uh, New York Mets shirt. And in fact, can you see it? It's the New York Mets pants. Because, well, I haven't checked today, and maybe they're playing a night game, but the New York Mets played on opening day yesterday and started the season and won so the New York Mets are undefeated and in first place, at least as of yesterday. And so today, I am in full Mets regalia and enjoying what could be the last day for a long time that the Mets are anywhere near first place. Okay, so foundational tip today is this whole concept of change. I mean, we all know, especially when it comes to advertising and market in our business, uh, that thanks to all kinds of online stuff going on over the last... 10, 20 years or so, like things are rapidly changing. New websites all the time and new shiny objects and you gotta have this software and this plugin and this method of this and you gotta have this funnel that leads to this and it clicks here and it does this and whatever and you know sequences and emails and text messages and all kinds of stuff. I mean, I just spent another day all day talking to clients and uh, prospects and people are, I'm finding uh, about as confused or more confused than ever and adding to it the uncertainty and the confusion this this whole thing going on with Facebook where oh man you know everything's gonna change at Facebook with their algorithms gonna change now and the privacy concerns and the, this and that and are they gonna shut this off or add this or they're gonna break them up or what's gonna happen next with YouTube and Google and they're calling them all into Congress and you know all kinds of things could be changing and there's people that depend on this stuff and like man I'll run my whole business through off of Facebook ads and what's gonna happen now and this and that and whatever and I'm like look here's the deal I, I don't remember who say it, but there's like a saying, like the one thing that's constant is change. And so as small business owners, number one, we are mentally strong enough, hopefully you are, to prepare that you know. You just know that is. That if you're still doing business the same way you are now, five years from now, you you know, you won't be in business. Like you could, we got to be constantly changing with the times. But the real key to keeping up with all the constant and crazy and fast-paced changes, especially when it comes to technology, is to have a solid, there's two, two things I suggest. Number one, have a solid foundation in strategy. I use the WOW strategy, I talk about it a lot here. It's the foundation to solving all problems of your sales and marketing, including the constantly changing whiz-bang technology, different sites and softwares and plugins and this, that, and whatever's going on. You have that solid framework that you can then plug in so that whenever, hey, this is the latest new thing that comes along, well, I've got my basic framework, let's plug it in there. And the second thing is not to even think about keeping up with all of it yourself. That's just pure craziness and it just, it, it, it basically can't be done. And no company that's successful does it. So huge companies, Fortune 500, whatever, they get whole teams of people and they'll call in the consultants and the experts in all the different areas or whatever. There's no way, can you imagine the CEO of a Fortune 500 com company going, man, I got to buy a course on how to, you know, oh, I know the newest thing I'm seeing now, people are talking about uh, live video on LinkedIn. I'm recording this uh, right here on Facebook Live, but I think I'll start recording some videos live on LinkedIn. Well, there's already people selling courses on how to use LinkedIn Live video. Give me a break. Uh, you know, can you see the CEO of what size company do you think? Get, what size of a company do you think it gets to the point where it, it's comical to think that the CEO is saying, I got to take a course on how to learn all about LinkedIn and LinkedIn video and the newest plugins and software and this, that and messaging and I got to learn about Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and I got to, you know, at what size? Well, you want to think big and you want to realize that even if it's just you and you're starting out, you're that size. 
You've got much better things to do, things that will last forever. They're your basic strategy, your basic vision, putting your team in place. That's what outside experts are for. You, I'm not going to spend eight hours or three hours or even one hour going through a, on a course on how to use the latest website or, 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 or software or whatever it is. I'm going to pay someone to do it. What I usually do is I will buy the course, I'll give the password to an assistant, and I'll tell them to do two things. You have to go through the course and send me your notes on the course, and that way I know they went through it, and they know that I know they went through it. And number two, then I want you to send me a list of the top 10, th top 10 things you would do, the top 10 ways you would implement what you learn in that course to help me in my business. What 10 things do you think would work best for me? So I get those two things. So the first one, the notes, really just kind of proves that they went through the whole thing. And second of all, it gives me the notes. So I don't have to spend hours going through it. I can spend 10 minutes going through their notes on it. And then second of all, I have them give me a list of what they would do based on the teachings there to help me to market LinkedIn Live Video or Pinterest or Facebook or Twitter or whatever the newest whiz bang, whatever it is. And then if I like what I see and it sounds good, then very often I just say, go ahead. And I pay them to implement whatever the heck it is that they're doing. So I am the CEO. I'm running the business, casting the vision and putting the right team in place. So you get the right experts. And, you know, when you get to a certain size, I mean, I no longer have the vim and vigor of when I was young and wanted to build a, a big company. I did. I built a big company, and I don't want to do that again. But uh, I had people. It wasn't even me that was finding the experts and the people. I had people that were hiring and finding the teams and training them and overseeing them and doing that. I, I couldn't, you know, I, my time has to be better spent running the business overall, casting the vision, putting the overall strategy in place and making sure that everything is working accordingly there. So where do you see yourself in your business? Are you such a doer of the business and so hands-on and so paranoid that you think you have to do everything yourself? Well, you're going to stunt your own growth because you just can't keep up with everything. There's no way. And you're going to drive yourself crazy and you're getting it all bent out of shape that, oh, what I used to do doesn't work and I got to learn something new. No, you just got to get the right experts in place. And in fact, I spend a lot of my time doing that is helping guide people into what particular strategies and tactics they ought to use for their business. And then we get the right people in place because these tactics, these websites and softwares and, and shiny objects come and go. So I do not suggest that you or anyone watching this video wants to become an expert in any shiny object thing that's going to be here today, gone tomorrow. Whatever Facebook changes or make, uh, changes Facebook is making, for instance, they're going to change them again in six months from now or a year from now. So I don't want that. That's not going to be me, and I don't want any of my clients. I don't suggest any of my clients do that either, to, to become an expert in the inner workings of Facebook, whatever. You hire someone for that. You pay them money. They implement Facebook. They have to keep up with it, them and their team, and they have to run it and do it, and your phone rings, and you get the leads. I mean, and you run the business, okay? So that's my suggestion. That's my foundational tip for Foundation Friday is make sure you are running the business based on a set strategy. You can make tweaks to it. You have to. You make tweaks here and there, but get the right experts help you put the right strategy in place and then figure out what technologies you want, might even want to think of using, but then you find the experts to check them out, see if they make sense for you, and to implement them for you. And you spend your time directing other people. That's what a business owner does. You don't spend your time learning and doing all kinds of different software. That's absolutely just counterproductive. You'll stunt your growth. You'll never grow to a big size. I don't think you'll ever enjoy yourself. I know when I was doing that, and when I still find myself, if I ever tend to do anything like that, I'm frustrated and miserable. Like, what a waste. That I look up from that and I look at the clock and I go, what a waste that was of time. I thought that would be something simple to figure out. Just give it to somebody. And go, even if it's just take a walk. You know, there's many better things you can do than get bogged down in the details of the ever-changing world that's going on in advertising and marketing and sales today in your business. And that's it for Foundation Friday. Thanks for being here live. Thanks for watching on the replay. I'll be back tomorrow and I'll share a story on Success Story Saturday. I'll come to you early tomorrow so it won't be quite dark. The moon won't be out. The sun won't be set. And uh, I will see you tomorrow on Success Story Saturday. Thanks for being here today. Bye-bye.